I wanted this trip to be all about new experiences. Going on an East Coast trip is something I've always wanted to do. Now let's see where it takes us. We started yesterday, or we started this morning actually, striper fishing. Now this is the next evening. Um, we only have about three hours until it gets dark out, um, but we're going to fish into the dark here. We're fishing for trout now. So we switched it up. Maine is known for big trout. We're fishing with Jordan for brook trout, and Jordan's one of Riley's buddies. We're all going to go down there. And then on our way up here into northern Maine, we found a buddy of mine. Is that bass? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> What's up, guys? You guys know Matt. He came. He was supposed to come this morning and fish stripers with us, but his flight got delayed, and he ended up, we picked him up from the airport. We didn't show any of that because we were just rushing to try and get here to enjoy this beautiful, peaceful main afternoon. But trout fishing is something I'm, I've caught some big trout before. Never big brook trout, and I'm not amazing with a fly rod. So whenever I'm doing something new, you guys love to see that, and that's what I'm going to show you guys tonight. So let's see what Jordan's up to. Let's see what we're going to do. And uh, you ready, Riley? We're all ready. We've made it down to the river. Jordan, who actually just figured out we were born on the same day of the same year, which is crazy, pretty crazy. That's insane, but he's been fishing in Maine for how long? Uh, probably 10 years. 10 years. Something just, like that. We're just after big brook trout tonight, and I really appreciate him taking us out here. And uh, Riley and Matt are going to kind of fish this way. We're going to go walk across and get onto a rock and try and sight fish for some fish before it gets dark out. Because the main gist is we're going to wait until it gets dark out. They kind of, the water tends to slow down right towards dark, and that's hopefully when we'll get some fish. But something new to me, really new to me, fly fishing and this whole, whole get up. So let's do it. Night setting in right now. Um, we ended up catching two decent size, little, really little, actually not decent size brook trout. My first ever. Um, we're gonna stick around and see if the night fishing could be good. I wouldn't probably recommend it, but since we didn't catch any for really camera worthy fish, we we're able to show it to you. We're gonna stick around and try and catch some fish. Um, yeah, it's kind of the game plan. This place is crazy. I just love, like, I don't know what it is, but you just feel so calm in a river setting like this. There's just like tranquility and. Just I don't know what I'm saying at this point, but I'm calm, I'm relaxed, and hopefully these fish bite tonight or else we don't really have much to show you guys. We are hooked up on my first decent sized one. And it was kind of just random. We were just waiting until, oh, oh, oh. Is it? Oh, it's a salmon. It's a salmon. Just kind of tire him out. We're using really, really light line, so it's just real, real slight fight. It's actually a salmon, so we're gonna check this fish out here. Oh yeah, is it a salmon? Yeah. Sweet. Hey, little guy. These fish are just super crazy looking. This is actually a salmon, Atlantic salmon, naturally reproduce. Snake. And what I've been told is always keep your hands wet when dealing with these fish. Just make sure they go back in the water and don't keep them out of the water for very long. So. That's my first official catch really on big camera. We caught some really little brook trout that we didn't really get to show you guys because of the spot we were fishing. Um, but the night's setting in and we're gonna keep fishing.
<laughs> I look like I just got beat up. Yeah. All right, I need sleep. We need to get some sleep. We, we did a lot today. We will catch you guys in the morning. Well, welcome back. We are back on this beach. Unfortunately, Griffin has work today and Riley couldn't come down. He actually lives two hours north of here. So they said we can come to this beach. We are out here. Um, Griffin might meet up with us later. We've got some big things planned, but that's, we're living in the moment right now. What we've got. So right here is a representation. That's me, that's Matt. And we are gonna try and catch stripers out of this boat. Yes, it's gonna be epic. It's gonna be amazing, um, but we gotta blow it up. This is where we fished yesterday, but we're gonna paddle out there. We're gonna kind of use this to our advantage, hopefully get bait. We've got more gear, we've got some top waters, we've got some circle hooks, we've got some snagging gear so we can actually snag the bait fish. Uh, we didn't get a cast net because you guys know how bad our cast net abilities are. That's not gonna work. So, first things first, let's blow this thing up and let's see if it's even, if it's even feasible to, uh, to do what we need to do here. <laughs> You're kidding me. <laughs> this will work. Yes. The issue with this is gonna be like the wind and stuff. Yeah. Like we need a motor yeah. almost. Yeah. But we got you, you're the motor. We got the back. <laughs> Rowing we, machine. We got the machine here. Is this pump even gonna work? Like look at this thing. Yeah, let's, let's just hurry it up here. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> you got that over there, Jimmy? Yeah, go ahead. So we bought this raft in like kind of an idea to where we were gonna use it out when we camped on the island. But uh, it got too hot the day we were gonna use it and we never ended up using it. So today seems like a perfect opportunity to use it, try it out and see if we can do it in the salt water, which this is a beach. There's a bunch of people swimming. There's a bunch of people rafting. I wouldn't recommend this like in some like crazy hazardous conditions, but it'll do for today. We gotta hurry up though, cause this tide is about to switch and this is when the fishing gets good. There we go, there we go. We are building the paddle. The paddle is a key part of this because this is gonna help us get around. It's a little windy, this tide is scaring me, but I think we can do this. There we go. Wow, these paddles are jank. This whole system <laughs> is just jank. It's $20, what do you expect? Only 10,000 more repetitions to go here. Dude, is it even inflating? What? Well, uh, AP Bassman had the wrong nozzle inserted the entire time. He's so, it switch it out and finally making headway here. Getting a cardio session. Here we go, here we go. Made in voyage. Okay, it's gonna get a little wet in here. So. There you go. Oh no. Okay, easy. Easy, okay, good. All right, now hold on. I guess. Here we go. We're good. We're good. It's good. We're good. I mean, my butt. My butt is on the ground. <laughs> like I am beaching us with my butt. Okay. I'll go back this way. Put your like your knees. Your knees need to go down. Down. Yeah. Or else you can't tell her. Oh, there we go. Here we go. We're probably gonna make our way across this river and then use the raft once we find the bait. But we'll see you guys on this GoPro. Stay tuned. Peace out, y'all. Wow, how is this working? All right, so we've taken the raft along the rocks to get to a point. Oh, no. easy, easy, you're on the... Yeah, I know, I realize. You're on rock here. I realize. Okay, here, here. Take this, take this. I'm trying to pull this up so I'm not uh, in the rock. Okay, here, here, here. Waves coming in. Bring this off, push this off, push this off. You ready? Ready? Yeah. Oh, God. Here it goes. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most... Hold on. 
You this, okay where you are? Yeah, I'm amazing. Really? Okay. This is the most podunk thing we've ever done. Podunk. We are going out here trying to get some bait. Um, it's so much more effective being a boat. We wish we had kayaks, but obviously we didn't bring kayaks on this. So you want me to use one? It might be easier to take those things out. Watch yeah, but this. then I'm going to lose them. Nice. But yeah, so we're going to vlog off this camera. I've got my trusty here too. So the first step is to find the bait, try and snag it. And then we can set out some deadlines and literally just drift around out here and hope. The issue is now. Once we get in for one, oh my God. I'm going to cast the swim bait while we're working our way out. Sure. This is awesome. This is sick. <laughs> this is like where that bait was. I'm going to throw this swim bait out there and see what happens. See any bait? There's a fish. Fish? Yep. Giant. Really? Giant. Giant. No way. <laughs> Help. <laughs> Help. We're gonna, we're gonna have to go with this thing. We're gonna have to go with this thing. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, second cast. Second cast. Dude, in the raft. We were trying to find the bait. This is on artificial too. This is gnarly. Is he in a raft? Come on up. This feels huge, dude. Look at that rod bed. How? I'm so tired. How? This I'm is so awesome. Tired. Let's go. I'm so tired. <laughs> yeah, literally, I'm, it was a voyage to I, get to the point where we're at. <laughs> Getting pulled into the Oh spot. my gosh, this is crazy, guys. This is absolutely insane. I took two casts with the swim bait, with the Guggen swim bait. Not thinking. We could get a fish yesterday on artificial. Oh my god, this is... What do you think? Have you seen it? No, I haven't seen anything, bro. <laughs> it's like a shark. What do you think we got here? I don't know. That's just so. I'm out of breath. Like I'd usually be like freaking out right now, but like we've we've walked. Oh god. I want to see it. This is gonna be so hard to land. I don't know. I'm losing my oar. See it? Oh. Holy shit! <laughs> Dude, this thing is massive. Okay, okay, okay. Dude. What are we gonna do here? What are we gonna how are we gonna land this thing? This giant, bro, <laughs> is moving us right now. <laughs> we are hooked up. Dude, this is insane. <laughs> you could not make this up. We came out here. We couldn't find any bait at all. We were trying to find the bait because yesterday all we could do is catch them on live bait. And today we throw Guggen swim bait out there and catch a giant. Oh my god. Literally like second cast. Dude. Second cast. I don't you wanna. Oh, he came off. I mean, there's nothing you could do. I mean, what do you do there? I don't know, that was... We needed to land them on shore. Uh, there's too much... It's too much... Too much, like, yeah. black line, yeah. yeah. Moving with the boat. Should've tightened my drag more, I don't know. Is that... Oh, he's what? waking. Is that a fish waking? No, that's a duck. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm shaking, dude. I'm so pissed. That would've been epic. Imagine yeah. holding... Oh my god, we suck. We suck. I don't know how he came off, just like dug me down. He just started, took his last run. Like we fought him for a while there. And like, you gotta be careful. We're in a raft, we don't wanna tip it. And I just think like all that give, I should have tightened up and just horsed him at the end there because he was kind of giving up and I kind of let him play. And I think that was a bad move. Oh, dude. I think this is good though, hold on. I hooked that fish like right off that. Just give me one cast here. Or yeah, keep going out. That fish was shallower because it was feeding, right? Fish. The other one? Yep. Not as big. Maybe it's big. I don't know if the drag started. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at this. Okay. Ready? Just a little. Yeah. <laughs> little. <laughs> not, not even close to as big as that other one. How do you hold these? You just you lip them. They're like bass. Yeah, well, can. that right there is a little school. Oh no! <laughs> Where is it? Where's the hole? Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's over. It's over. This little schoolie just popped the raft. <laughs> We're gonna sink. So oh I got no. my finger on it. Oh, oh no. Man, we lost the we lost. Oh gosh, okay. Okay. Right, we get rid of it. <laughs> well, that right there is not the size of fish we're after. The dust is it of bad? The How bad is it? Oh no. Duct tape, man. We were bashing west. That would not have worked. How bad is it? Let go. Stuck over. Oh, yeah. There's no way. We're done. All right. So we're back. We've officially landed one fish. It wasn't as epic as the first one. I was definitely freaking out. But that fish put a hole. Can you see it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can see it. Like, we're bubbling. It's 
bubbling. We have a hole in our raft right now <laughs> from that. <laughs> we are so screwed because the tide is coming. I have a fish on you? But so we have a hole in our raft, so we're gonna have to take turns. We're gonna have to plug the hole. Oh, big fish right here. Really? Big fish. Shark? What was that? Shark? Oh my god, look at him. Look at the bait. Look at the bait. Take this. Take this. See the bait? See the bait? Oh, jeez. Hold this. Hold this. Hold the hole. Hold the hole. Oh, we're gonna get a big one. Oh, jeez. Look at them all. Got one. Got one. Got one. Is that oh my. Don't be a freaking striper. You gotta get it before the striper gets it. Get what? The bait. <laughs> look at the striper getting it. <laughs> Hold the hole, hold the hole, hold the hole, hold the hole. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> we have the bait near us now. Okay, hold. hold. Jesus. What was that? It's everywhere. Somebody's got my bait. Oh my god, no. No, no. <laughs> Where's the hole? Where's the hole? Put the GoPro down. Put the GoPro in here. Put the go hold the hole. Alright. Oh, is that fish gonna pop? <laughs> we got another one! We got another one! Just can't it. Hold on, hold on, stop. Just chill. Everybody chill. Everybody chill. Hold the hole! Hold the hole! This hole is a real boner killer. Oh my god! That was on my bait. That was on my bait. I'm gonna set the hook, I got it. It's gonna stroke it. Here we go, here we go. You ready for a fight? No, no, hold on, hold on. Oh, I gotta set the hook! Okay. We're gonna lose on my line! Oh, he's tearing out line? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Go oh, down. No. <laughs> <laughs> Try and get the camera view. What's I got the nothing right now. Is it good? I don't know if I have enough strength. <laughs> Crank it down. Man. Oh. Gotta get as much tension on this thing as we possibly can. <laughs> we we'll lose this round, dude. <laughs> is it heavy? Yeah, dude, this thing is huge. <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a freight train. <laughs> I don't know if we've even hooked them. I've just been reeling into them. Oh, oh God. Oh God. This is absolutely gnarly. He's covering the hole, too. <laughs> <laughs> so, we've got a hole, like we've said, 40,000 times here. This is just an absolute mess to try and film. Or the, the bait we got. Oh, God. Oh, my God. That's huge, dude. Really? How are we, we going to land this thing? I don't know. Why is this? Just don't let it hit the raft. <laughs> <laughs> this, is impossible. this is impossible to film impossible to do anything especially since we have a hole in our raft oh no buddy in the kayaks coming to our spot our juice hole here i'm so worn out now what do we do here you gonna grab him or oh I just don't let him hit so last time when we caught this fit or when we had the last little one he popped a hole in the raft so now we're just trying to keep this thing away from the raft Oh Just a mule. <laughs> okay. Oh god. Okay. okay. You wanna? You got the? You got the hole? Yeah, I got the hole. We're good. Just keep him away. Okay. There you go. Okay. Nice. Where's that hook at? Oh, baby. Is it in the gullet? Oh. Okay. Look at that, folks. We have done it. We are catching striped bass out of an inflatable Walmart raft out here in the ocean. Absolutely crazy. The first one we lost on the artificial was even bigger than this, if you could imagine. That fish is just all day 15 pounds, like massive. Let's go. And that right there is an absolute amazing fish. We were using a circle hook. Um, it was a small circle hook, he swallowed it. So we actually just cut the line, that way this fish will survive. It's salt water, so that thing will rust. Oh my God. That fin right here is what poked the raft. And this fish is just exhausted because it was a, oh, oh, there he goes. Don't poke the raft, don't poke the raft. Oh, yes, we did it. Okay, you need to catch, we I should have let, I should have let you reel that in. I kind of no, screwed I, up. It's, this is a we'll team effort. This is a hundred percent a team effort. We've got three jobs, the fishing job, the holding the whole job and the, and oaring. the oaring job. So it's like, <laughs> and filming. And filming. So it's just like a chaotic mess. This is all self filmed off two GoPros and I think we're doing a pretty damn good yeah, job yeah. of it. We're like, we're killing we this. Got. We've lost a big one on artificial. We caught one on artificial and Two. we just caught one on live bait. Oh. Oh, you caught one on artificial too? Yeah, the little oh, one that poked okay. the hole in. This is like, this is a gnarly video right now. Okay. Well, the beach is right there. We will oh, catch God. you guys I'm on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, we went way out there. That must have been dope. Absolutely legendary. We legit were all the way out there. We managed to land successfully. Two fish, I believe, like actually landed. We lost that big one on our fish right at the beginning. Holy cow. The water is so cold here. We're in Maine, so the water doesn't get that hot. And if we would have done what we just did where we filled the boat up completely with water out there, there's no shot we would have made it in. Well, aftermath. Unfortunately, <laughs> I think the next stop for Mr. Old Raft is the garbage can. We did it though. It was kind of a scrambled video because of two guys, one raft, out in the middle of the ocean, but we did it. We managed to catch fish, we managed to bring some awesome action to you guys, and it just, it was unreal. This trip has been crazy. Everything's been working out so far. We've been able to catch fish every day, we've been able to do some crazy adventures, stayed on an island, used the raft out in the ocean. Like, everything we wanted to do is actually coming together. But, there's one more thing we want to do, and it's kind of what Maine's known for. So, I guess we'll catch you guys in the next episode of AP Bassin. We'll leave it off at that, and let's go. Let's hopefully, if there's no video after that, that means that this next part was an epic fail. But hopefully it all works out. Thank you guys again for watching today's episode of AP Bassin. Amazing. Let me know what you guys thought, and we'll see you guys 